Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look man, we got some more 2K23 leak gameplay. I ain't never seen this before. So yeah man, we're going to go over that and a lot of other 2K23 news that needs to be desperately discussed. But yeah man, make sure y'all like the video real quick man, helps out the video a lot. Subscribe if you're new, turn on the notice. And yeah man. So firstly man, this guy says been almost 2 years. PS5 should be available everywhere and not at a ridiculous price, man. Y'all let me know how true y'all think this should be, man. This is America. Y'all telling me a billion dollar company can't? Like, really? Y'all really think it's because of COVID? If any of y'all are hip and y'all know more information than, than me, because I'm, all I got is assumptions, man. Like, it's common sense, bro. They're not even made here. You're telling me all these different places... You can't get enough material to make a PS5 to make all this extra money. There has to be a bigger scheme, bro, to create hype or maybe they're buying it and then reselling it. Something, something of the sort, bro. There's no way like we are really at a sort a shortage, bro. Like this is annoying as fuck. Like PlayStation, the, these next gen consoles are really to blame for uh 2K being so goddamn ass. With having the uh, community split up and shit. Because some people ain't going to bother to go pay extra, you know, for the, for the next gen console. But yeah. Y'all let me know down below what y'all think it really is or what you, like, know it really is. There's no way there's a shortage. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care what, what no one is saying, bro. Okay, let's have a look-see at this gameplay. Can we see anything? We actually see nothing in that clip. What a worthless clip, man. How y'all niggas gonna fly out <laughs> and record? Like, at least show something, bro. Like, come on, man. Niggas is crazy. Okay, D-Book giving Mike Wang the work. If he really is, that's pathetic, nigga. You the developer. Who Mike Wang talking to, man? Is he trying to make an excuse for getting his ass whooped? He pointing at something. What's he pointing at? He not even paying attention to the game. This is how he be doing us. We still can't see shit. Show us some. Show us some. It looking clean. Anything. I think a nigga missed a dunk. <laughs> I'm trolling, bro. I, I I don't know, bro. I don't know. It looked like somebody missed or made something. I can't see that shit. Did he make that hoe? Uh, yeah, he made, he made it. He made it. Worthless clips, man. So let's get into some information, man. So DBG, if if DBG was to die today, he would be a legend. This nigga posts like eight videos a day. He has like fucking nine thousand videos on his channel. He he's a he is a god. I <laughs> I don't know how you do it, my boy. I don't know, <laughs> but. He quote tweets 2K Intel saying post scoring is gonna be OP, blah blah blah. He says, love it. A positive for every mode outside of 1v1 and 2v2 park. Now wait a week for it to be patched because six foot tall PGs complain that they can't stop seven three centers in 1v1. Listen. I don't know how y'all my team boys do it over there with that that no skill gap shit and all that you know super god my players and all that but look boy like you're tripping post scoring is the easiest most exploiting thing in 2k bro 1v1 and 2v2 it's exploit people shoot the hooks from the three-point line perfectly time contest jump that shoot make every single shot they're completely unstoppable and it ruins the fun of the game. Don't know why you as not an old head are sticking up for post scores, my boy. Come on, man. They're broken, bro. They need to be nerfed dramatically. They have been the most OP thing in the game since 2K17, bro. Extremely broken, needs balancing, okay? Now, what he says next, wait for it to be patched because six foot tall PG's complaining they can't stop seven three centers in 1v1. DBG, this is a lie. This is a misconception 
that old heads and Reddit users and people very terrible and ass at the game think? Do you think people are actually complaining that their six foot guard can't stop a seven three center? Do you really think that? Do y'all are y'all listening to me? Do you all really think that? That no one's comp who complains about that? There, there's no way y'all think that, bro. There's no way when y'all think people who main PG, when they say defense is ass and post scores are ass and they ruin the game, y'all think it's from a play shot's perspective? That they're complaining about the defense on their play shot? That they can't guard centers? Are y'all serious? L let, let me give you some insight, bro. If you hear someone that uses a play shot complain about defense or post scores are broken, they're speaking on behalf of their locks their centers they watch them get completely destroyed or they have other builds and they have to go against these centers that don't even be seven three by the way but they completely ruin the game there's no skill gap it's completely unrealistic okay the how you see post scores behave in the game it's completely unrealistic especially in today's age where everyone has transitioned to becoming a shooter and not a pink dominant demi god okay um perfectly timed contest you know no finesse moves just they just post hook free throw line all that just it's broken bro it ruins the fun of the game it messes up 2v2s and 1v1s and um it's terrible bro. stop it and, and DBG, this, this shows you how like out of touch you are, bro. I don't know if it's because you make too many videos or so, but bro, post scores have never been patched. They've never been nerfed. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like, like they, they've never like legitimately took a hit to where like niggas got off post scores. It, it's never happened. They've always been completely broken like od okay now we got another tweet from dbg man he tweets this every year um that i've been following him i'm not too sure uh how long that's been but i've definitely seen this at least two two to three years maybe might be the same exact tweet copy paste i don't remember but he says if they patch everything in 2k23 to appease park players at the detriment of every other mode like they have the past two years that is not true. They have never appeased park players ever, bro. They've never even tried, bro. It took them nine months to take pushing out the game in 19, bro. They they barely patch anything. And then when they do, it's, it's usually like the old heads that get their way, bro. It's never the park players that get their way. I don't, I don't know why creators be like kind of like going at each other and stuff. But I don't, I don't know. I definitely do believe that there, that we need to go more at the devs, not the people, not the creators. It is the devs' job to balance the game. There should be separate patches for the wreck, for my team, for park stage. There, there should be different sliders to where when they patch something for something else, it don't too much bleed into the other things, you know? But um, y'all, 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 my team guys, it, it has to get. I I don't know, bro. I seen it. That that's some of like the cheesiest stuff I've ever seen, especially in the hands of a park player. <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy how y'all be playing that my team shit, bro. I don't, I don't know. But then he says, I will have given up hope on 2K ever being a good experience for 5v5 modes at a high level um i've always enjoyed 5v5 um pro-am better than park and stage like every year since i've ever played 2k to be honest so i don't i don't really know what what's what pacific what specific is he talking about that park players have gotten patched bro i don't know man i think we should go more at the devs instead of each other that that's what they want and, you know if we're divided we can't stand together to make a change, bro. It's the devs' fault, bro. It's not the it's not the people that's saying you know something's broken and all that. And 
I, 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 I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. MVP tweets out nerf play shots in 2K23, okay? And I agree, bro. I agree. I don't even think they should uh, exist. Like, if everything's going to be how the builder is, I think the highest tier a guard should actually be should be for instance the slashing playmaker like gold shooting badges it should have that effectiveness for the shooting if 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 shooting wasn't so easy for builds bro and it was as easy as a slashing playmaker you would see much more diversity and it would be a way higher skill gap because people get bailed out by that easy ass shooting bro it's too big of a window to hit and you're really fast and all that so it's like what you have to do you don't need to nerf speed and dribbling because that's what makes the game exciting what you have to do is nerf the shooting i believe the perfect way to nerf play shots is to buff defense dramatically especially the lateral quickness all that and to make hall of fame badges have the effectiveness of silver badges then the whole game would change you know they would change of course keep them in because you know you know content but um the whole game would change but you know people start to cry hall of fame we need our hall of fame badges on that damn pro difficulty we want it so easy we want it but we want play shots nerfed but we want our hall of fame badges we want an easy shooting system but we want play shots nerfed do you not understand that y'all don't make sense what takes more skill the ability to hold your square button wide open and time a easy shots or the ability to actually get open on one defender or two defenders so what takes more skill clearly getting open on a defender does right the we, we can agree to that right we got damn near 30 badges with a 99.3 come on dog the best jump shot in the game big ass green windows and a high make percent for all these shots the ability to get wide open so so why are y'all trying to nerf something that actually requires stick skill in a basketball game something that requires skill bro what needs to be nerfed is what's actually easier which bails people out man and that's the shooting it's too easy you nerf the shooting you have a skill gap for the play shots my boy power says eliminate pie charts so there are no play shots I, I believe um yeah i believe every build system is kind of the same it's just redid so it looks new but it's like it still almost follows the same rules to be honest but um then he says history says they won't keep it the same so it's either a new system or they go the lazy route of adding a few new pie charts y'all let me know what y'all think they gonna do man any who makes y'all subscribe if you knew i'm be covering all the 2k 23 leaks best dribble moves best builds jump shots hilarious toxic gameplay all that man drop a like yeah but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.